There's no science to this. It's just feel it out. Anyway. <laughs> Hello, my name is Asia Zara Pavar. I am a footwear design specialist here at Nike, and I'm very excited to be sitting down today with Inda Nur. Inda, what's going on? My name is Inda. I am a material designer at Nike Kids. For me, with anything that you do, if you take good care of your stuff, they last longer. So like, I clean my shoes because shoes is the most important part of my outfit. So uh, with that in mind, today we are going to go over some tips and tricks Inda and I use to extend the life cycle of our shoes and everyday good habits to keep your shoes fresh. So Inda, tell us a little bit about the shoes we're gonna clean today. This is my favorite pair of shoes. They've been through it. My Jordan 4 Off-White, people will come up to me like, I can't believe you're wearing them. And I'm like, yeah, they're just shoes. You're supposed to wear them. I like the worn-in look anyway. Well, that's good. You've been wearing your shoes, and we're going to try and bring them back to life. Step one is you need your cleaning supplies. Brushes and sponges for general maintenance cleaning. Rubbing alcohol for foggy airbags. We have orange peels for freshness. So there's a bunch of materials on this shoe, mm -hmm. and since you're the materials expert, what is your preference on like bristly brushes? For me, it's about finding the right brush for the part of the shoe we're cleaning. I use an old toothbrush for the hard to reach areas of the shoes. What about this one? That's my go-to brush for that sole. I feel like lately, I haven't felt the need to buy every single drop. When I have the shoes I really love, it makes me want to take better care of them. Next, grab some soap. I just use dish soap. A few drops in warm water is perfect. With all of the kind of rubber components of the tooling, you can use an array of mm -hmm. sponges to, to get a new look. I usually use the softer side of the sponge for the midsole. Just avoid getting into the suede. Really, I'm truly enjoying cleaning your shoes for you. <laughs> I think the dirtiest looks I've ever given are people who step on my shoes at concerts, which always happens. You don't really wear your nice shoes to concert. Like, you wear your beaters. I want to clean your outsole. Look at that. Oh, my god. Ooh, uh, that's brand new. Oh, yeah. Ring, ring, hello, there's a new shoe on the line. <laughs> So another thing that's exciting about these shoes is that they have airbags in them. But they're pretty foggy. So we're going to clean these bad boys. Do you want to get that rubbing alcohol? Use a little toothbrush. I'm going to dip this in there. Yeah, do the air. I can see all the way through to the blue. That is clear as can be. After cleaning my shoes, I give them a rest day. I used to put dryer sheets in them to get that fresh smell. Well, since dryer sheets are single use, an alternative option is orange peels. And just to add a little bit of freshness, mm -hmm. we can leave some orange peels in there. Stuff it. A little vitamin C for you. And my shoes. Leave those in there and then get that citrusy, nice smell inside your shoe. Oh, that is fresh. Look at what I did yeah. over here. Wow. You are welcome. That's a bing moment right there. I've never had more fun cleaning someone else's shoes than I have right now. So I'm stuck to see you keep rocking yeah. them. Thanks so much for joining us. And we hope you had a great time. And we hope that you can extend a little bit more of the life cycle of your own shoes. Keeping the vibes. Love that. <laughs>